Hello guys, this is Vice. So the UPSC notification, you know, it came out on February 2nd and uh, it is open till February 22nd. So now today 17, so five more days and I hope you have already filled your forms and all these things are done. And there is no change in that, there is no other thing, but a small update has come. And that update is that you would have noticed that the vacancies, it was 861 when it came that day and it was an increase compared to last year's uh, 721 or something. And uh, now 150 new uh, vacancy has come. Okay, and so the total is this thing. So I'll show you the UPSC thing, uh, the website where, what they have updated. It is because a new post has come. So what is this post? That's also I'll tell you. So uh, just to watch it till the end, it's just a few minutes. This is the thumbnail of the video of the original notification where I asked you or showed you how to fill the form. So any doubt you have, okay, any doubt you have on filling the form, you can watch this video. It is there on my channel. You can contact me in WhatsApp also. This is the number. I'll tell you how to fill the form. Okay. And in that, I told you, this is how the vacancies were going on uh, increasing at the initial stages and after that 2014 onward it started decreasing okay it went on decreasing till 2021 and in 2022 it became 861 which was a new thing okay so february 2nd this was the thing and last date is february uh, 22 okay yeah, i missed it february 22 2022 is the last day to fill the form so now i'll show you the upsc notification before that if you are already enrolled to my test series see to it that you are studying that as per the schedule okay february 1 to june 1 is your last chance so 120 days now, I think around 99 days are there. You can study if you do it from the right source. Okay, if you need information about this, just WhatsApp me. It's a brilliant study timetable with the test weekly, weekly, and you will clear the exam easily. Okay, now let's go to the UPSC website to see what is today's update. So here, if you see, uh, this is the UPSC website, upsc.gov.in. I'll just refresh it. So right side, this column, okay, what's new? Here is one place where new updates come or below this yellow color. So if you see this addendum to the notice of civil service examination 2022. So when you click this, okay, it will take you to a, a PDF. Okay, so this PDF, I'll just, uh, I've opened it and downloaded it anyway. The zoomed version, I'll show you. So this is how the uh, PDF will look like. So here you can see this is a addition of whatever came already. So this is... Uh, the notice number 522 which was that day's notification which came on 2 2 22. now they are telling a new post which is this indian railway management service for this i think separate exam used to happen and now sometime it is not happening so they are adding that to this exam itself okay so recruiting 150 extra personnel so you are 861 notified in that day will become now 1011 okay so 1011 is the vacancy so what is your impact what is going to happen to you is that the cutoff of the exam may sometimes go high okay because when the vacancies are always high the cutoff also goes highs earlier if you remember in 2016 and all cutoff used to be like this above thousand that time the uh, sorry the vacancy used to be like this and the cutoff used to be around 110 115 or 106 this was the cutoff for general category or obc category okay now you would have seen the last few years it is repeatedly 95 92 97 it is that range so the cutoff may increase because the vacancy increased now these extra vacancies doesn't mean that they are going to take 150 extra ias or 150 extra collectors they don't need that it's actually for new post okay meaning already upsc exam they are conducting for around 19 posts, okay, IAS, IPS, IRS, then the IFS, I, Foreign Service, Forest Service, then uh, the Lakshadweep Administrator, Random Administrator. Now, one more thing is there is a Railway Management Service. So, if you are interested in that, this also you can select after your prelims exam. Okay, now you don't need to do anything. Your application, everything is same. So, here it is written, you are already applied, not required to apply afresh because you are considered that you are already applied for IRMS also. Okay. So based on your rank and based on your preference later, you can choose IRMS if needed. That is the only difference. And all the medical conditions and standards, this link is there. If you are interested in this particular post, you can click on this link and get more details. Okay. Else, nothing else is there. Then here they get the handicapped and all the other uh, different, different categories. Physical categories is also mentioned. So this is the update. Okay. So I hope it's clear. And many students are asking me like, sir, today UPSC told about some new vacancy. Please explain to me. That is the only reason I did this. Okay. So I'll wind up this video. Please watch all the videos. Everything is completely free on this channel. If you need test series, Alone, which is a paid one you can whatsapp me at this number okay so thank you and have a nice day